Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will learn about how one can interact with Azure using Visual Studio Code. For that, let's go to the Visual Studio Code and install the extension called Azure Account. So on the left hand side, you can see that uh, there is an icon which is for extensions. I will go ahead and search for Azure Account. So it is here. So you can see that it is from the Microsoft and all the details about this extension can be found over here. So what all it supports, what all it does and how it works, you can get it over here. So I will quickly go ahead and install this. Well, so extension is installed. I will close this. Now in order to use this, one can use command palette. So to open the command palette, you can either press Control Shift P in case you haven't changed the default hotkeys or else another way to open this is to use the com command palette which is on the menu bar so you can go to view and click on the command palette which is the topmost item now i personally prefer to use the menu bar for such things in order to use the azure extension what we need to do is we just need to type in azure and once you type in, you can see that there are a bunch of commands available over here. So again, no need to remember anything as this list is quite short. So we can see each and everything in just a single shot over here. So let's look at our very first command, which is about to create a, or open a new Azure account. So I will click on this one. Now for any newbie, there is no need to remember the URL. Rather, he or she can click on the command and it will directly redirect to the web page where he or she can create a new account. So here you can see buy now, start free and you can click on these, any of these and get started. Now let's come on to the next part, which is the login. So here again, I will click on Azure and I will click on sign in. So as soon I will as soon as I will click on sign in, it will ask me for login. So give us a moment. A dialog will pop up wherein we need to provide the information. So it is logged in and it is saying you are signed in and you can close this page. So once we have closed this page, we can come back to the studio code. And here again, let's go and try out a few more commands. So let's, I will filter it out again with the Azure. Now there is a command select subscription. So as soon as you will click on this command, it will list down all the available subscription, which is part of this signed in user or the logged in user. But the important thing which you need to remember here is whatever subscription you are selecting, all the resources will be filtered according to that subscription only. Okay, so let's say if I'm going, I have only one subscription. So it is showing me, I will go ahead and click on my subscription. Okay, so now whatever I'm doing in this instance of the Visual Studio Code, uh, Visual Studio Code, it will use the same subscription ID and all the resources associated with it. Let's try out a few more useful commands. Azure colon and here you could see that you can even sign out, you can sign in. And I would try and there is one important thing like if you don't have if you want to sign in with the device code you can do it in case if you're not having a password then this is one of the useful option which you can utilize it and next important command I would say is the opening the terminal window so as soon as you will click on this so you can start tapping here commands you can run your PowerShell commands which will directly go and run in your cloud shell Another important command which I can show is about the Azure storage. So it also allows you to upload the files 
directly in your Azure storage, which is part of the current subscription, right? And you can, of course, do a sign out from here. So I will click on the sign out and we are again out of the Azure subscription, which we have signed in recently, right? So you have seen that how easy and handy all these commands are. So hope you enjoyed connecting with Azure using VS Code. Thank you.